Hey folks, John Miller here, coming to you from Chicago, Illinois, the Big Ten Network Studios. As you can see, that's theirs. Uh, I did not go out and buy one of those banners, at least not yet. Coming to you from the green room, the place where uh, Jerry DiNardo, uh, Howard Griffith, and the whole gang on Saturdays hang out and watch a whole wall of TVs that you can't see. Over to your left here in Chicago on Thursday, the 9th day of September, getting ready for the debut of uh, the TV show. I'll be on each and every Thursday with LaCharles Bentley, former Ohio State All-American, called The Pulse. 8 o'clock Central, 9 p.m. Eastern. Be sure to watch it every week. Now let's get to the big game, Iowa and Iowa State. I think it comes down to a couple of things. One, Iowa's special teams. I think there's a huge advantage for Iowa. Mike Meyer last week, Iowa's kicker, kicking the ball in the end zone four out of six times. Eastern Illinois' average starting field position was their own 19. Iowa's was their own 35. I've been talking all summer, writing all summer about hidden yardage. That's what I mean. You have Iowa with the ball out to the 35 versus Eastern Illinois at their own 19. That's 16 more yards. That's a shorter field. Iowa only needs to go 35, 40 yards to get into a 40 to 47 yard field goal range position. So for an Iowa offense last year that was certainly in the bottom third of all offenses, probably in the bottom 20% of all offenses in the uh, FBS, that's a good thing to have that kind of a weapon because the defense is going to get three and outs more often than not. Last week, five out of ten. Eastern Illinois possessions were three and outs. I also think Iowa's front four on defense can effectively keep Iowa State in check. I'm not saying shut them down. Iowa State's going to move the ball. They have a horizontal passing game. Dinks, dunks, you have to watch out for Austin Arnott's legs. Iowa State's offense, I think, could be potent. It's just that Iowa's front four hopefully can handle things. That allows Iowa's linebackers to drop back in his own coverage because I think Austin Arnott, he didn't show last week that he's made that jump in his development to be able to pick that up. Through two interceptions last week against Northern Illinois, both came uh, against linebacker drops in the zones. The first one, there were like five Northern Illinois defenders uh, around the Arnod's intended receiver. A linebacker batted the ball. The second one, the linebacker picked it off. That was one of Arnod's problems last year when he had four interceptions against the Hawkeyes at home and Jack Trice. Now he's at Kinnick Stadium, one of the toughest places he'll play all season. Austin Arnott is a great, great kid, but sometimes has a tendency to be too amped up going into games. Not sure that's a great thing for a quarterback. In the end with the smoke clears, I think Iowa State is done in by turnovers again. Iowa wins it 30-13. to 13.